Today, I want to do something different and talk about how my story lines up with the Martha and Mary story in the Bible. Let me start by reading Luke 10, 38 through 42, where Jesus visits Mary and Martha. As Jesus and the disciples continue on their way to Jerusalem, they came to a certain village where a woman named Martha welcomed him to her home. Her sister Mary sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he taught. But Martha was distracted by the big dinner she was preparing. She came to Jesus and said, Lord, doesn't it seem unfair to you that my sister just sits here while I do all the work? Tell her to come help me. But the Lord said to her, Dear Martha, you are worried and upset over these things, these details. There is one thing worth being concerned about. Mary has discovered it, and it will not be taken away from her. I've always identified with Martha since I'm such a doer. But over the last 10 years or so, I've realized I also want to have more Mary in me as well. This desire caused a lot of conflict in me as I found it hard to ignite my heart and always had a hard time sharing my emotions. Most of this struggle is wrapped up in growing up in a family that didn't share emotions openly. I got stuck thinking that I had to work hard for approval. Therefore, working like Martha seemed like a more logical choice. Sadly, logic can be the death of our faith. Even though I wanted to express my love more like Mary, I was stuck in proving myself with works. Sadly, that work also led to judging the Marys of this world and not feeling like they measured up. I now realize that I judged others because I didn't feel like I measured up. Believe it or not, I was a sensitive, artistic, and musically talented little kid. That identity didn't line up with the world I lived in. So as a young teenager, I turned to sports to prove my manliness. I was about five foot tall, 100 pounds, soaking wet, but I was determined to prove myself none other place than on the football field. I was so tenacious that I started to get noticed. As a freshman, there were 50 guys on the football team and 48 guys played in the first scrimmage. Me and one other guy did not. He quit and I just got more motivated. I spent the year on the bench, but then in the next year I had a seven inch and 35 pound spurt and I started on the JV team as a 10th grader. I was really not talented but that desire carried me all the way to playing college football as a walk-on at the University of Buffalo. If anyone knows the movie Rudy, that was me. My identity was formed in this world. I was an overcomer. I carried that identity into my professional life and started my own company at 25 years old at the same time, I started a family and my wife was also working 60 hours weeks. It was crazy, but I was an overcomer and I looked for the impossible battles to win and continued to fight as hard as I could. The Martha identity in me was being strengthened, but in reality, it was my pride, arrogance, and living out of life that I needed to prove something to everyone to get affirmation. Now fast forward 25 years and I lost everything. My wife died of brain cancer, my business collapsed, and when I looked in the mirror, I didn't even know who I was looking at. I spent a lifetime developing a facade and now realized I was wearing a mask that even I didn't know. Who did God make me to be? After losing everything, I was finally open to allow God to show me my identity in Him. He showed up and I really felt His love for the first time in my life. Over the last 10 years, God continued to mold me into the man He wants me to be. Still, 
I'm a little more like Martha than Mary, but I'm happy to say now that I have some of both. And in fact, I always had some of both. Even though in my gifting leaned towards Martha, I no longer judge the Marys of this world, and I see value in both. We are all part of God's body, and now I see how I can use the giftings of Martha with the heart of Mary and be all God is calling me to be. So if you don't have a healthy sense of identity, you may not accomplish the purpose God has for your life. Our purpose in Christ is our destination, but our gifting is the transportation that'll get us there. It's okay to be more like Martha or Mary, but it's not okay to judge the one you're not. I hope you relate to my story in some way and it encourages you to live, love, and lead like Jesus more and more each day. God bless.